Hey everyone, it's Steve again. Today we're gonna to do something pretty simple, calabacitas. Wanted to do this because, as you may know, we have a food distribution program that we give food away to once every day of the week to individuals and families that are in need across Los Angeles. Lately, we've been getting a lot of squash and tomatoes, all different kinds. So we're making calabacitas to use those ingredients. You can use any tomato, you can use any squash as long as it's got a soft outside or a soft skin. You don't want to use butternut squash, but Mexican squash, uh, zucchini squash, yellow squash, you can use those for this recipe. So let's get started. Here are our ingredients. We have our tomatoes here, romas. We have three different types of squash you could use Three different types, you could use one, you can use whatever combination you want. We have our cotija for the end, we have our avocado for the end, we have our cilantro for the end. And the base flavor of this is gonna be our onions and garlic. So yeah, those are the ingredients. We'll just chop them up and get it going. Okay, so we have everything chopped up. There's our tomato. There's our all, three different types of squash. Here's our garlic and here's our onions. That's all we need for the, the saute right now. So I'm gonna get started. Let's go over to the stove. Okay, so we'll start with some olive oil in the pan. Good amount. Start with our onions. Putting an even layer in the bottom of the pan. Put some salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin. onion powder, garlic powder, This is a little bit of tomato paste, so I'm going to put it in just to make a little bit of a, a thicker kind of a glaze for the zucchini. Give it a little bit more tomato. Okay, now we have a good stew going. It's been only about six minutes, and we're going to put our squash in. Put in a little bit of frozen corn. Stir this up to coat it with the tomato mixture. While we're doing this, we'll put a little bit more sea salt. Stir that all up. It might look like we need to add liquid, but the squash has so much water in it that once we just put a lid on like this, it'll create its own 
sauce, create its own stew, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. These have been stewing under the lid. I'm gonna take them out, take the lid off. You can see it's kind of thickened up from the starch of the squash. The squash is starting to get really soft, it's starting to look good. Maybe he needs another five minutes stewing like this. If, you, if it starts to look thick, you can always add a little bit of water or broth. Uh, or like over here, right next to this, for lunch, we're having this with some beans, some black beans. So you can always take some of the, the liquid from the bean can or uh, you can even put your beans in with this and it'll add more moisture. Uh, but this looks pretty good right now to me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just turn the heat down a little bit and put the lid on for another five minutes and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so the flame is off. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I just wanted to get it to the point where the squash was soft, but still holding its shape. And then all the flavors have, have come together. So that's where we're at. So this is done, ready to be served. Just show you what a dish looks like that you can make with this, which is just simple. We have our avocado, we have our cilantro, we have our cotija, we have our black beans, we have our calabacitas underneath, and we're gonna have it with some chips. You can have it with chips, you can have it with uh, tortillas, you can have it over rice, um, really any way you want. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you try it, let us know.